Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that you're looking at in this picture is Charles Redding. And he is the commissioner of the IRS. You know, I'm just going to say this, and I know some will get offended. And I, I look, people offend me all the time. <laughs> so if you get offended back, oh, well. Look, at this point, people like him, they should not be allowed to manage money. These folks have done so much corruption when it comes down to managing money. You see companies get mismanaged. You'll see money laundering or it's always some member Enron, y'all. And the CEOs raping all the money out of the company. These folks just can't do it. They can't do it. They are so corrupt. They can't run a straight arrow business where everything is in place. Everything is immaculate. They can't do it. They can't do it. And if you start looking more at your Wall Street journals, many of these companies that are performing very poor financially, they're trying to sell off their businesses now. And this is happening all over the country. These folks have mismanaged money since they've had money. And if you go back in history, look at how many financial collapses America has had. Too many. Too many. Recessions and, you know, and, and you had the lockdown last year and everything was really technically everything collapsed in America in 2020. And it's still collapsing now because many of these businesses can't get off the ground without employees. So it, it yeah, it's a hot mess because look at who's running it. Until changes are made, nothing is going to be right. And I'm not surprised about the IRS. The IRS has been a mess for years and all the commissioners have come and gone and they look just like this dude. Okay. They look just like him and nothing has ever got resolved about how bad and corrupt the IRS has been for decades. And having this man in place is not going to make it better. They'll talk about it, talk about how bad it is and what they can do to resolve it and this and that, and then nothing changes. <laughs> okay, you ain't going to see nothing change after this hearing. The IRS, maybe it just shouldn't exist. It's there for greed anyway. It's not like you're doing a, a business that is good or even moral. You're doing corruption. You're, it's all greed, robbing the people. That's all it really is. So this came out, ladies and gentlemen, in the Washington Post, July 2nd, 2021. The IRS is a hot mess. <laughs> Who didn't know that? 
millions of tax returns haven't been processed. There are people still waiting for their refund from the year before. They didn't even get, and they filed electronically, (laughs) y'all. Okay. There are millions of people that filed electronically back in 2020 and still didn't get one dime, still waiting. And uh, calls are going unanswered, including mine. (laughs) Wow. That says it all. It says it all. But in my opinion, it is just too corrupt. It's too messed up. They either need to shut it all down and start all over from the ground on up or just close it all together. And I'm dead serious. It it ain't going to do you no good to have an agency that is not functional. And it hasn't been functional for a long time. Now, not only can't you get your return, you can't even call and get an update or talk to anybody. That's ridiculous. But hey, you know, always remember the faces of the people that were running things when all of this happened. Always remember. All right. I want to apologize to every person I've encouraged to be patient with the Internal Revenue Service as it stumbles through, (laughs) um, yeah, the after effects of the pandemic. Yeah. Be patient. But when people owe you, you are demanding it right away. That's usually how it goes. But everybody should be patient with them. Okay, the IRS is critically malfunctioning. I didn't fully grasp until a recent report from the National Taxpayer Advocate that the IRS has officially given up on answering every taxpayer's phone call for assistance, and that has to be fixed. The agency is a hot mess. You are right to be mad as hell when you can't reach somebody to help explain why your filing or refund hasn't been processed. And yes, I cussed because the time to be polite and forgiving for the failures at the IRS is over. Right now, millions of taxpayers are waiting for their much needed refunds and stimulus payments. Millions more are trying to settle issues with past tax returns and unable to get a human being on the phone while the interest costs potentially tick up each day things are you know they just go unresolved for like long periods of time and i did a story and some of you might remember on how they admitted they got tractor trailers filled with unprocessed tax returns And that's tractor trailers with an S on the end where they just threw all of it in there because they just couldn't get to it. Wow. All right. So um, let me go down a bit. I'm one in a million fighting to be heard. But More on that later. Historically, a high number of returns needed manual process this year, slowing the issuance of refunds. Aaron Collins, the National Taxpayer Advocate. Um, At the end of this year's filing season, the IRS faced a backlog of more than 35 million individual and business returns. In its response, the IRS essentially said things aren't really that bad. The numbers provided by the National Tax Advocate do not reflect the current situation at the IRS, the agency said in a statement. The IRS said that the 35 million number includes 15.2 million individual and business tax returns that are already 
in some stage of the normal process. All right, so it's not part of the backlog. An additional 17.5 million are individual returns that may or may not result in a refund, the IRS said. IRS employees have worked hard during the unprecedented circumstances brought on by the pandemic, but they sucked even before the pandemic, okay? They did, and many people know that. Yet, you really can't blame um, the virus for all the delays at the agency, which is having issues with taxpayer customer service long before the pandemic. Thank you. Not everyone can afford to be patient. During the 2021 filing season, the IRS received 167 million telephone calls, over four times the number during 2019. At one point, the IRS received at the rate of about 1,500 per second. They're talking about phone calls. IRS employees could not keep up with the pace this massive volume of calls resulting in the poorest service ever. On the 1040 line, the most frequently called 800 number, only 3% out of 85 million calls from taxpayers reached a phone, uh, yeah, reached someone that could assist them. So, wow, that's terrible. Only 3% out of 85, wow. 3%. Our ability to answer phone calls reflect the amount of staffing available, the IRS said in its defense. Pending budget proposals would help the agency's ability to assist more taxpayers, including on the phones. On this issue, the IRS is right. It isn't given enough money to help taxpayers. Congress funded the IRS this year to provide a 60% level of service. Think about that for a second because that's all it takes to see all of the callousness of this choice by Congress. You know, and that's, you, you, you ever notice that too? All of these agencies are underfunded. They're all underfunded. These people, you know, all they want to do is take money and then be stingy. So, y'all, tell me what you think, because I know quite a few of my subscribers have posted the issues you've had with the IRS and not getting your refunds. Some of you haven't even gotten your refunds from a year ago. I mean, this is outrageous. But like I said, when you owe money, they want it in a hot minute. But when they owe you, oh, well, pe uh, you know, be patient with us. And, you know, we're trying to do this and trying to do that. Just remember <laughs> who's running the game right now. Okay. So the burden falls on them. It is 100% your fault that this agency is so poor, right along with other government agencies in this country. Y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.